Hello YouTube, Peter with you once again. And this is actually the second video that I've made tonight. The first was audio only. But I thought I'd talk relatively briefly about this whole issue of monetization and how now videos have to be, quote, advertiser friendly when they're monetized. Now personally, I've practically all but given up on even worrying about monetizing videos. Sometimes if I... Certain videos I'll do it as an afterthought, other videos I just don't even bother if it has any kind of content that is not 100% my own. And so far in my experience on YouTube with monetizing, it has been entirely based on the, the issue of copyright. And so of course, as somebody who has the potential to monetize videos, I now have to think not only does this contain copyright or not contain copyright, but is this innocuous enough to be, quote, advertiser-friendly. But at the same time, I'm still relatively small enough on YouTube and don't really make enough through ad revenue to care all that much. I don't drink that much coffee anymore, but I used to joke that YouTube really couldn't even support my coffee habit in terms of the amount of ad revenue that I was getting. That being said, other people complaining about it Here's how I honestly feel. I feel as if people have struck a Faustian bargain, and now they're shocked when the devil has come to collect their soul. Because this is exactly the sort of move that would seem inevitable in hindsight, that they're going to start scrutinizing content and go, okay, maybe we don't want our commercial for breakfast cereal before this rant about feminism or something like that or what any sort of so-called controversial issue is it completely innocuous and family friendly okay that can have advertisements is it even remotely controversial now nah, we don't think we put advertisements on that and honestly I, I think if you've been working in television for about I don't know the last 60 or 70 years at any point then you're probably familiar with advertisements' effect on the content. That's why all the best shows are on things like HBO, where they can show the violence and nudity. Hashtag Game of Thrones or whatever, right? That's not true. There are some, but there is a kind of television hierarchy of which premium channels like HBO are at the top, and then come, you know, the cable channels like FX and what was the, ch I don't even, AMC, the one that broadcast Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, and then, you know, you get the network television that it's mostly pretty innocuous stuff, like Modern Family and whatever, that kind of sitcom fodder or the 20 billion different versions of CIS or NCILAPDQ, whatever acronym shows about, uh, detectives or naval investigators or whatever they're broadcasting now right that's the sort of stuff that's on network television and in part the reason that you know there is this hierarchy is partially because of pressure of advertisements and what kind of advertisers they attract the size of audience that they're expected to generate in order to get certain levels of advertisement revenue and so on and on youtube as much as people want to be all punk rock and i'm here to give my controversial opinion they've also knowingly or unknowingly got in bed with corporate america and the advertising industry and now the if that whole apparatus has asserted itself and saying now you're going to dance to our tune or we're cutting you out and all i can do is shrug and be like this day was bound to come eventually and that seems to be part of the long-term strategy from when google bought youtube it started out as hey here's a place to upload videos and it took off with bloggers but then it got bought out by a major corporation and they're like we're bleeding money how do we turn this from you know 
the negative side of the balance sheet to the positive side of the balance sheet. And they've been slowly implementing changes to make that happen. And this is yet another one trying to steer content creators towards creating a certain kind of content that is going to be more palatable to people trying to sell uh, soda and cereal and the other crap that they're selling. And as a YouTube creator myself, I've for a long time felt like, man, I I'm... Do they realize what I'm making? Do they realize what this video is about when I go to monetize it? And so, again, it doesn't really surprise me, but I've long felt that I was you know, getting away with something or pulling something over on them. And I remember back in 2008, 2009, after I became a YouTube partner, back when being a YouTube partner was a thing, and I got an invite to come to a conference at the Google headquarters in Chicago or one of their corporate offices or whatever it was and basically go through a seminar about how to increase your viewership and uh, you know blah 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 all this other sort of um, uh, channel advice from YouTube and I had planned on going but then I had to meet with one of my professors and he was like, if you just imagine like Charlton Heston, he sort of sounded like Charlton Heston, looked a bit like him too, but had that kind of ponderous, takes forever to say something uh, type thing going on like Grandmaster Pycelle in Game of Thrones, right? Like the thing about kings is that, blah, blah, you know, like imagine that. So I had to go to this conference with you know, my Grandmaster Picel philosophy professor. And then after that dragged on for a while, I get in my car and I drive and I hit Chicago rush hour traffic. And so I ended up never really making it on time to this Google thing. But the whole time as I'm getting ready to go to this, I'm thinking like, do they have any idea whatsoever of what I make videos about? Or are they just like, oh, here's a name on a list, it's, a, it's another statistical factoid, and we have automatically sent out a form letter to this, uh, this person who is a partner who we have not vetted in any other way, and, and have them come down here and get advice on how to grow his YouTube channel. Uh, it was a very strange experience, and I, I'm in certain ways I'm kind of disappointed that I'd never actually made it to this whole thing, you know, this conference that I was invited to by Google. But at the end of the day, I get it, okay? They're a business, they want to make money, they want to encourage certain kinds of content and discourage other kinds of content. Advertisers are concerned with their brands and their reputation, and why did this ad for Cocoa Puffs air before this person going on a rant about something controversial. Uh, you get angry complaint letters to the corporation and uh, concerned moms of America are protesting over whatever. What can I say? This is, this is the Faustian bargain that you struck when you decided to monetize videos. And that's that. Have a good whatever time it is.